How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Pazak table. What was that, some kind of joke? That's what I'm talking about. Jedi talk. You two should start your own little Jedi Academy. All right, cut it out. I get, I get it, I get it. Last Jedi in the galaxy, I get the comedian who runs around in her underwear. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I mean, compared to the Jedi Queen of the galaxy back there, I'd rather be stuck in an escape pod for a year with you than her. Then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So? What happened? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. <laughs> Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Yeah, unique how? Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. If they think we caused the explosion, uh-oh, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Because this vessel and its passengers are connected with the destruction of a fuel mining facility, one that this station depends upon, we would like to find out the extent of your involvement. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again.
be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match for my skills. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. That's something we're gonna have to look into. I can tell you that it can't have been easy. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. 
In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Very well. I'll let him in now. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. 
Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi, one of the last, wanted by the Exchange and who knows how many other organizations for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi and your standing with them have no bearing on this discussion. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the Exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the Exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B-44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred, natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this. And we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Telosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? 
We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off this station. Whether it's the Ebonhawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Because it depends on Citadel Station. And the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering Senators? Huh. <laughs> Not something worth counting on. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason. But we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Of course. She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing everything from medical supplies to starship weapon systems. Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project which Zerka hopes will serve as a model for future operations of this nature. I knew you'd come eventually. I am confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revitalize Telos as a benchmark for other such efforts in other systems. While a generous amount of credits has been budgeted to Telos, the bumbling of Chodo Hobat and his Athorians has squandered away much of these resources. For a project of this size, judicious planning and thrifty spending of resources is a necessity. 
something Habat fails to understand. Nonetheless, Zaka remains optimistic. There are many jobs we need assistance with. For someone with your experience, you would be well compensated. Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. While B-44 is perfectly capable of handling Zerka's needs when it comes to accounting and record keeping, he simply is not capable of dealing with the running of a project as massive as the restoration of Telos. Don't worry, Zerka wouldn't expect you to work unpaid and won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like a bat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. Excellent. Oh, and here, 